بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أحمده على رسول الكريم. Today I want to show you something that has never been done in history. It is the ultimate face. It is the ultimate slap in the face of the Arab world, specifically. It is the ultimate slap in the face of the Muslim world in general. And the reason that they've been able to do this now is because. Everyone was silent. Everyone was silent. And they have seduced enough of the Arab world to their wishes. And they have shown enough economic, you could say, benefits to be with them that they can now remain silent in front of the genocide that is happening. And so what do they do? They put the first four ayat, not the last ayat, the four, four, first four ayat of Stulfil. Now, before you understand this, you have to understand what is the purpose of this uh, entire, you can say, uh, this entire channel that they have. Okay, this is Israel Arabi. Okay, Arabia, Israel Arabia. And this is to show how much support they have from the Arab world. Okay? This is to show how much support they have from the Arab world. And it says, Israelin. Okay? And a'lamu annakum fi ma'arika ziddul irhabiyin. Marhaban bil ikhwani Israel. Israelin. Israeliyin. And a'lamu annakum fi ma'arika ziddul irhabiyin. This says, Hey, welcome to our brothers from Israel. I know you're fighting against the terrorists. So, all of Gaza, all of West Bank, he put it in one category, whoever wrote this uh, ridiculous uh, point here. Okay, so this is the propaganda machine. Muslims put a tweet on, they delete it. They put on a tweet on, it's fine. Okay, then uh, the one that I specifically wanted to show you, okay, and you can go here and see for yourself, is the one in which they put Sut al-Fil. Okay? Now, who is the audience here? This is the question. Who is the audience here? The Arab world. Who in the Arab world is their audience? The munafiqeen. The munafiqeen. The sellouts. Those people who write on this website, oh, we're so happy, we're with you, we're not with them, we're with you, we want your economic benefits, and we'll do sujood to you, and we'll do whatever you want. Okay? And so, what do they write? Mocking. And who are they saying this to? They're saying this to the Arab and to the Muslims that see, we are on the right side. God is on our side. You are on the right side by being with us. Because the purpose of this channel is to communicate the message or the propaganda machine and to spin things according to how? According to the Israeli, according to their viewpoint okay and so what is it that they're saying they left out and to make sure that you understand that the message that they're giving is clear they left out ayah number five because they didn't want to they didn't want to offend anyone they didn't want to say that you know we're going to terrorize you completely they just put the first four ayat that look we sent upon them our Planes, okay? Tyran can mean birds. Tyran can also mean planes. Ababil is the specific type of bird, or it can mean flocks of things. Tarmihi bihijar. And they sent down upon them stones, min sijil, made of dust, or made of soil. Uh, and, and anyway, the point is, when the rock is hardened, okay? Tarmihi bihijar, min sijil, made of uh, hardened clay, you can say. Okay, so anyway, the point is, Israel, Arabic, it's trying to communicate to their protagonists. It is trying to communicate to their audience, the audience that loves them. They are bold enough that they feel confident that people on the other side, the munafiqeen, they will read this and, and, and be happy. Oh, they're killing our brothers. And sisters, but look so good. They're so good. They put a Quranic verse here. They put a Quranic verses here. 
to to show their support that they 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 understand us you see this is exactly the type of dajjal the type of fraud the type of deception where you're playing your audience with the quranic verses and making them think see you're doing the right thing and they're throwing these things out to test their audience what type of reaction happens but what is really being said is the is the picture is worth a thousand words Okay, and what they're saying here is that this will be your collective graveyard. Okay, this will be your collective graveyard. Let me let me share with you something. Look, it is it is the Sunnah of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that when you don't establish the Deen and you are no longer loyal to the Deen, afatuminuna bi baad al kitabi wa takfuruna bi baad. Do you believe in part of the book and reject the other? فَمَجَزَ أُمَّهِ فَلُو ذَلِكَ مِنْكُمْ What can be the reward of who take to this attitude? إِلَّا خِزْيُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا Except they're put to extreme humiliation in this world. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ رَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَشَدِّ الْعَذَابِ And in the hereafter, they return to the most severe punishment. Then after a few verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثُمَّ قَصَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ After this, your hearts were completely sealed. And this is what has happened. The reaction of the Muslim world to this crisis and to this genocide is our hearts are completely sealed. No one spoke out. Very few ulama talked about it. Okay, everyone claims to feel bad about it, but it has not made anyone's sleep. It has given no one sleepless nights. People are able to still ride their cars, eat their food, enjoy the dunya as much, while this is still happening. And the thing is that this is a message. It's a double talk, you can say. It's a message to the Muslim world. This is your collective graveyard. This is what we're going to do to you. And what to speak of anything else will smack you in the face with your own Qur'an. Because you know why? You can't do a darn thing. And you know why they had the courage to do put this verses up here this time? Because they saw there was no pulse left in the body of the Ummah. There was no pulse left in the body of the Ummah. So they said, oh, we can even do this. Okay? And even though there is al quwa al kamina a potential energy in the Muslim Ummah, but they don't see that right now. That will come out, inshallah. But right now, they're slapping you in the face. Ala niyatan, openly. Here, slap you in the face with your own Qur'an. We're going to repeat back to you your own God's words to you about how we are punishing you the way God punished what this surah is talking about. The elephants were punished by the birds. We are punishing you that way on behalf of God. It almost reminds me of the verse of the Qur'an. بَعَثْنَا عَلَيْكُمْ إِبَادَ لَنَا أُولِي بَعْسٍ شَدِيدٍ فَجَاسُوا خِلَالَ الدَّيَارِ The picture is a thousand words. And this picture says everything about the future. This picture says everything about the future. This picture says everything you need to know about where the future is going to be. Okay? Your plots and plans have been turned. We sent the bombs on you, we sent the birds on you, we sent the planes on you, and you have been made into a rubble of dust of rubble. So, they have the capacity to do this today. Why? They have the capacity to do this today. They have the capacity to do this today because the Ummah is sleeping, the Ummah is deaf, dumb, and blind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wake us up. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wake us up. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma ghuddu al-muslimina ila dinihim raddan jameela. Shahat al-wujuh, shahat al-wujuh, shahat al-wujuh. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid.